I know how it feels like telling yourself, I'll complete my book tomorrow or I'll complete this writing job tomorrow. And when tomorrow comes, you're just staring at blank sheets. If you want to know how to stay motivated as a writer, then keep watching. Hi, my name is Ezine Edet. I'm a creative writer and editor who helps writers find their voice and earn from their skill. If this is something that you are interested in, then you'll want to hit the subscribe button below. Whether you're writing a novel or a self-help book, I know how it feels like sitting down to write something but you're staring at blank sheets or waiting for inspiration to write. But if you're struggling with writer's block, you'll want to watch this video here where I mention 10 things that you can do to beat writer's block. If you're wondering, how do I stay motivated as a writer? I've got 10 creative ideas to help you get started. Number one, set deadlines. Deadlines are great motivators. You can set deadlines for every chapter of your book. However, it's important that you set achievable deadlines. In another point, I'm going to discuss in detail how you can set achievable deadlines. You can also set deadlines for when you want to complete your first draft. Setting a deadline will help you write every day until you achieve your writing goals. Which leads us to the next point, set writing goals. It's important that you set goals that are achievable and easy to tackle. Let's assume that you are writing a self-help book of about 50,000 words. So 50,000 words is your expected goal for the entire book. You should start by setting daily goals for yourself. How do you do this? Start by asking yourself, what's the total number of words I can write every day, comfortably and conveniently without any problem? Now let's assume that the number of words that you can write comfortably every day is 500 words. So you know that our ultimate goal is 50,000 words, but you can comfortably write 500 words every day. What you're going to do is to divide the 50,000 words, which is your ultimate goal, by 500, which is your daily goal. Now, when you divide 50,000 words by 500 words, you have 100 days. Now, 100 days is expected number of days that you are going to complete your book or that you are going to turn in your first draft. I hope you understand this simple mathematics that I just did and I didn't end up confusing you. So, why I'm using the word expected, that's your expected total goal, your expected number of words you can write every day, and the expected number of days that you can finish writing the book is because it is expected, it's what you are projecting. It's, it may not actually be that actual number of words that you would write every day, and it may not be that actual 50,000 words that you'll be able to achieve at the end of the entire book, because nothing is carved in stone. So it's important that you are flexible with your goals. Now that we have been able to determine the number of days it's going to take us to write this book, I also want you to take into consideration the lazy days. Lazy days are those days that you just wake up and you don't feel like writing, or those days that you get so busy or caught up in other things that you don't even have time to write. Now I want you to incorporate these days when you are setting your goals. Let's say that, yes, the expected number of days that we have already gotten through this simple mathematics that we did is 100 days but then let's just add a range between maybe 20 to 50 days let's just say that it takes us a total of 150 days to complete this book because we're incorporating lazy days weekends and other days that we may not find time to write nevertheless this doesn't mean that you should deviate from your goal your goal is just a target that you set for yourself so you can actually hit the mark or even surpass it the fourth point is have an outline now, an outline is actually the blueprint for your book. This blueprint keeps you away from getting writer's block and also keeps you away from struggling when you are writing your book. An outline keeps you on track when writing and an outline motivates you to continue writing because an outline is like a skeletal framework of your book. So all you just need to do is to beef up that skeletal framework and get your book in shape. Now, it's important that you draft an outline before you even start writing your book. This is a great way to motivate yourself to write. Number five, enjoy the process. I know writing can be overwhelming, but it's important that you enjoy the process while writing. Laugh at yourself, take breaks when writing, play, but always focus on the process. Focusing on the process helps you take your mind off the ultimate goal and motivates you to write. If you are getting value so far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. How do you motivate yourself to write? Let me know in the comment section below. Number six, 
avoid the temptation to write and edit at the same time. I know that as writers, we like to write and edit at the same time, but I must warn you, don't give in to that temptation. Allow your thoughts to flow and avoid writing and editing at the same time. If you write and edit at the same time, there's the tendency that you're going to lose your flow of thoughts and ideas. Don't forget that your first draft is not a perfect document. Write first, then edit later. Number seven, turn off distractions. How do you turn off distractions? First, find a perfect spot to write where nobody is going to disturb you because writing requires a lot of your attention. Next, turn off any devices or gadgets like your phone or the television. You can also activate the do not disturb functionality on your phone. For some people, turning on a soft music could inspire them to write and for some others, it is a total distraction. So find what works for you and do it. However, it's important to turn off all forms of distractions when you're writing because this helps you to focus on your writing and ultimately achieve your writing goals. Number eight, change your mindset. Mindset is everything. So when writing, it's important that you think positive thoughts. Instead of telling yourself, I cannot write today, tell yourself, I can write today. I am inspired to write. I will achieve my writing goals. Saying some writing affirmations may also help you validate yourself. Remind yourself that done is better than perfect and bestsellers don't write themselves. You have to commit to writing today. This is one great way to motivate yourself to write. Number nine, reward yourself. Rewarding yourself is a great way to motivate yourself to achieve your writing goals. You can go to the spa, Netflix and chill or take yourself out when you achieve a particular milestone. Bribing yourself or rewarding yourself will actually motivate you to write. Number 10. Visualize the end. Ask yourself, why did you start writing this book in the first place? Imagine that you have completed your book. How will this make you feel? Now, allow these thoughts to push you to write. Let the feeling of accomplishment motivate you to write. And there you have it, 10 creative ways to stay motivated to write. Which of these points is interesting to you and which of them have you been practicing? Type in the comment section so that I'll know. Keep crushing your writing goals and I'll see you in the next video.